In this video, I'm going to show you sample question and answers based on the topic break even point. Okay, before we go into the questions and answers, let's look at what the other important things to, to know. For example, number one, the cost function is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. Alright, so fixed cost is normally given, and to find the variable cost, Variable cost is equal to P times Q, where P represents the cost price per unit. Next, we have the revenue function, which is also P times Q, where P equals to selling price per unit. And at break-even point, the revenue is equal to cost. Okay, look at sample question one. A firm sells a product at 35 ringgit per unit. So this is the selling price per unit. The variable cost for the product is 30 ringgit per unit. So this is the cost price. And the fixed cost is given as 70,000 ringgit. So what is the quantity of the product that the firm must sell in order to break even? Okay, to answer this question, let's start off with uh, the cost function, which is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. For fixed cost is given as 70,000 plus the variable cost is P times Q where P represents the cost price per unit which is 30. So we have 30 times Q. Next, the revenue function is P times Q where P is the selling price per unit which is given as 35 ringgit. So we substitute P with 35 times Q. So next, at break even point, revenue is equal to cost. So therefore, revenue, we substitute with 35Q, and then cost substitute with 70,000 plus 30Q. So from here, shift the 30Q to the left, we have 35 minus 30Q equals to 70,000. And then the simplify the left-hand side, 35 minus 30 will give us 5Q equals to 70,000. From here, Q is equals to 14,000. Therefore, the firm must sell 14,000 units in order to break even. Okay, look at sample question 2. A printing company bears a variable cost of 33 ringgit per unit. So this is the cost price per unit. And a fixed cost is given as 450,000 ringgit. The number of books uh, need to be sold to break even is 37,500 units. So we are asked to find the selling price per unit of the book. So let's start off with cost equals to fixed cost plus variable cost. So fixed cost is given as 450,000 plus the variable cost. So we look at the cost price per unit, which is 33. So 33 times Q. And then revenue is equal to P times Q, where P is the selling price and Q is the quantity. So uh, revenue therefore equals to P, Q. So as usual, at break even point, revenue is equals to cost. So revenue, we have found just now as PQ, equals to cost 450,000 plus 33Q. So from here, we are told that the quantity for break even is 37,500. So substitute Q with 37,500 equals to 450,000 plus 33, substitute Q with 37,500. Simplify. So on the left hand side, we have 37,500 P equals to 450,000 plus 33 times 37,500 is equal to 127,500. So from here, 450,000 plus 1,237,500. So we will get 1,687,500. So from here, if 37,500 P equals to 1,687,500, therefore P is equal to 1,687,500 divided by 37,500, the answer will be equal to 45. So therefore, the selling price per unit is 45 ringgit. So let's look at sample question 3. In sample question 3, a firm sells a product at 45 ringgit per unit. The cost function for this product is C equals to 33Q plus 4,500. We are asked to find the quantity the firm needs to sell in order to break even. So in this question, we have, been gi- we have already been given the, the cost function. So we don't have to find the cost function. So we start off with revenue function, which is P times Q. And P is the selling price, which is given as 45 ringgit per unit. So we substitute P with 
45. So 45 times Q will give us 45Q. And cost is given as 33Q plus 4,800. So from here at break even point, uh, the revenue is equal to cost. So therefore we take 45Q equals to 33Q plus 4,800. Uh, shift the 33Q to the left, we have 45 minus 33Q and uh, 45 minus 33Q is equals to 12Q. So 12Q equals to 4,800, therefore Q is equals to 400. So therefore the firm must sell 400 units in order to break even. So I hope you have understood uh, some of the sample questions given and how to solve questions related to break even.